Eat restaurant and my fiance oh, was not going to let that man feed me. First thing I seen when I did this is go through the comment section because I already knew what it was. A bunch of women upset and mad that he didn't allow Salt Bay to feed his woman. Just a whole bunch of I feel so embarrassed for Salt Bay. Girl, it ain't that deep. That's what you go there for. Y'all should have just went to Texas Road House or something because y'all ain't passed the vibe check. He controlling. You ever seen? <laughs>Hey guys, we are back with another video. So you saw the intro, you know what we're gonna talk about, you're looking at the thumbnail. Uh, let's jump right into it. Um, there was a young future husband out with his fiance, and he they went to Salt Bay's restaurant, and we all know what Salt Bay does. If you don't, we're gonna show you in a minute what he does. And he was like, no, I don't want you feeding my future wife meat in her mouth. And he has gotten eviscerated by the internet for being insecure. So for you guys that may not know how Salt Bay rolls, you might just saw that one clip. We're going to show you a, comp <sighs> a, a little bit of a compilation of how Salt Bay gets down. Here we go. The, 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 the famous sprinkle. It's a gold flake, gold flake state right there. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, with the eye contact, the eye contact. One dude holding the salt for <laughs> just one dude. Your job is to hold the salt. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. All right, we're gonna stop it right there. I think I think that's that's quite enough. <laughs> I, I think that's good enough for you guys to get an idea how my man rolls. Oh and um, like I said, this is not an indictment on Salt Bay. That mm -hmm. man's doing his job. This is what people pay to do yep. to come and see and stuff like that. So my issue with this and. You know what? Let's do something different. I always started out. Let's talk. Let's start with you. You're a woman. You are a feminine woman that's been married for a very long time. You're a mother. You're a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Would you do this? No. Would you do that? No. Especially with me sitting there. No. Exactly. And that is why she's been married no. 21 years, guys. So for all you ladies out there, I don't see nothing wrong with it. And yeah, I was trying to control some. Let me tell you something. The most controlling creature on the planet is a woman. Because <laughs> I don't want my wife getting another man's meat stuck in her mouth. I don't. What did you say? I, I said it. I said it. And I'll say it again. I don't want another man stuffing meat in my woman's mouth. I don't. And for all you ladies, like, well, why even go there? Why y'all, like, mm -hmm. the, like the young man in the intro, why y'all just go Texas yeah. Roadhouse? See, this is the thing. Do y'all realize that that's gold, that gold flake plated steak costs $1,000? Who you think's paying for that steak? This is this man's fiance. This ain't no random chick. This ain't he not some guy that's trying to impress her. This is his woman he has chosen to marry yeah. for the rest of his life. And I'm not going to sit there and watch another man put none down your mouth. It ain't got nothing to do with insecurity. It has mm -hmm. everything to do with respect. Absolutely. Everything to do with respect. Whatever happened to being a lady? And why is it so wrong to be a lady? Here, 
Put it on the plate, please. I'll eat it from there. Thank you very much, sir. Because here's the other side of it. And let's be honest. Let's say Beyonce has a restaurant. And she's she's the Salt Bay Bay, you know. Mm-hmm. And she is coming out to feed you some meat. Um, Beyonce, mm-hmm. I'm gonna need you to sing. No, no, no. Let's, let's let's set it up. She comes and sits in your lap, sits in your lap and feeds you meat. Feeds feeds yeah. your meat. Feeds your meat. And I'm supposed meat. to be sitting there like. And f- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'm filming while she feeding you. Yeah. To me, and I'm I'm supposed to be okay with that. Yeah, uh, yeah we yeah, wouldn't. You're supposed to be. Women get mad when dude like another woman's photo on Instagram. Yes, or on Facebook. So Why you like her picture? Cow. It's this double standard that I don't mm-hmm. like. I'm supposed to sit there as a man, pay for this meal first of all, because I'm expected to pay because I'm a provider. I gotta pay for this probably three thousand dollar meal, yeah. and I'm supposed to sit there and sit happily by while another man puts meat in my wife's mouth and somehow think that that's cool now if you're into that type of thing and you got a relationship like that because some people get down like that that's fine but most people don't mm-hmm. i don't and i don't like this thing where every time a man has a standard he's controlling something right guess what ladies let me tell you something this is to your uncle i met 21 years and this is especially for my christian ladies out there mm. the bible thumping i love jesus falling on the floor covered with a white towel christians white sheep white sheep christians <laughs> We're made to control. Mm. Read your Bible. In Genesis, what did God tell a man to do? To till it, subdue it, subdue. What does subdue mean? It means to control. A man wants some control in his home. And what we do is, men, I say it all the time, we draw a circle around everything that means something to us and we would defend it with our life. Mm-hmm. You cannot defend something without having control over it. I was in the military for many years. You can't just walk onto a military, but it's controlled access. Mm-hmm. The same way it's controlled access to my wife. The same way it's controlled access to me. Certain women can't just walk up to me and kiss me, hug me, and all stuff like that because I am hers. She is mine. But y'all seem to think that it's okay for you to own me, but I can't have no rules on you. Mm-hmm. This is ridiculous. Is she wrong because she was going to do it until he was like, nope, don't do that. I shouldn't have to tell you that. If she didn't see anything wrong with that, then that's not wife and material. Uh-uh. I'm sorry, it just isn't. And see, you you guys can get mad, you can you can get you can shame anybody, but I got 21 years in the game. I'm telling you what works and what don't work. Yep, that don't fly over here. Mm-hmm. With real men, the kind of men that y'all say y'all want, that don't fly. Mm-mm. And to my young men out there, I think later on in the video, the first intro video, there was a guy to my well, I'm securing myself. You go ahead and be secure, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. She ain't check, checking for you no way. You go ahead and play that beta male stuff all you want to. Because women women want a real man. And a real man is going to defend what's his. Mm-hmm. And I'm not sitting there and letting no man shove nothing down my wife's mouth. It ain't happening. Because it seems small, right? Well, n- to, I guess to, to me it to, doesn't. On the, but on the, to, on the, to the, average to the person, normal, yeah. Let's say, let's say the average 25-year-old. 20, it just seems like fun, innocent fun. But is mm-hmm. it really innocent? And if you're that comfortable with an intimate setting with someone else while your partner watches... Mm-hmm. What else are you comfortable with is my yeah. question. That's where my mind goes. If, if if I'm that comfortable allowing someone to get that close to me, and like you said, it's that lingering eye contact, that those sexual overtures, Very that sexual. the tongue still sticking out of the mouth and the eye contact and I'm all my cleavage is out and, and I'm leaning into it. And yeah, show. and I'm I've leaning seen, in yeah. and I'm breathing heavy. Honey, you eating a steak or what are you doing? Like, yeah. no. And that shouldn't be happening with another person that you're not intimate with. That's just, it's disrespectful and it's tasteless. It just, it yeah. is. It's a bad look. And if you, and if you ladies, if you want a highly productive and successful man, he ain't rocking with that. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Especially, men are expected to be traditional. We're expected to still be traditional. The, tr- the traditional man gets up, goes to work, makes sure he provides the four P's, protect, provide, procreate, problem solve. Right. Men are expected to stay traditional. Women are no longer traditional because yeah. my mama would never do that. My mm-hmm. mama, I, my mama is seventy some years old, but in her in her heyday, she wouldn't have done nothing like that. Right. And my dad wouldn't have allowed anything like right. that. And he wouldn't have been shamed. He wouldn't have been mm-hmm. uh, viscerated because there was no social media back then. Which brings me to my next point. Hmm. This stuff is acceptable because of social media. Yep. Because everything's for the gram. Everything's open for the world to see. Every intimate moment, everything that should be kept behind closed doors is open for the world to see. Now. I'm going to let Kanye tell y'all exactly what I can't say. Mm-hmm. So, here we go. Instagram got your business. You ain't got your Instagram got all y'all 
Because they're going to do it for the gram before they do it. They're going to send mm -hmm. a picture to the gram, but they send it to you. All right. I think it's pretty direct. I think that's, that's pretty direct because every it, the, the social media has more control over your woman than you do. Yep. We said it we we said it last week in our video not to relax those standards and it starts from the first date. So I I commend this young man, this fiance that said, "Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> not over here cuz no. the moment he said, "Yeah, oh, okay." That's like the, you, that's you the mentioned. new standard. Mm -hmm. So I you know I get it. I'm I'm in my fourth decade of living. I get it. Mm -hmm. I'm an older man, but I'm telling you what works. We're telling you what works. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people get on this platform, they talk all this, yeah, 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 and they have no results. They don't have a wife, they don't have a, a you know, a dog, no kids, or no dog in a fight, never been married, or divorced 84 times, and all this stuff like that, and they're gonna tell you how to do, how to do relationships. I see a lot of that with women. We're married for six months, and they, they think yeah. they're an expert. Yeah, or you see a woman that's been engaged 10 times, she thinks that's, that counts for something. They don't count for nothing. We talk about marriages over here. And then on top of that, we talk about marriage and longevity and raising kids. So we have all three of those things. I'm telling you what works, gentlemen. That right there does not work. Mm -mm. She tell you what works, ladies. That's some 304 behavior. Oh, Lord. She couldn't wait to use that. Term. Could not wait to use That's it. That's some 304 stuff. So I... <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a great... A great example of where we at, where we are as a society mm -hmm. and a culture and things like that. We're over-sexualized and we don't know how to yeah. do relationships. We don't care. And any, anytime... Anytime somebody tries to set a standard, it's always it's a shaming thing that goes on. Right. And I see it on both sides, but I see it mainly when it comes to men and standards. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, men, like I always say, be a man. Be a man. Have a standard. What do you think? It's just, it shows, it's a reflection of where, mm -hmm. I don't know, the degradation of our society and yep. how low our standards truly are. So, now, And to think that that's innocent and okay and it's just good fun. It just isn't. I think that's good for this video. And for now, I think... That's enough, enough said. said.